What's up guys, it's Sydney and this is your 20 minute full body mobility stretch. So grab a mat and let's get started. What's up guys, I'm so excited that you took the time to be here today for your 20 minute full body mobility stretch. I know this week was a tough week of workouts and I hope you pushed yourself as hard as you could. Maybe you're feeling a little bit sore or a little bit tight right now. I'm gonna work you through some mobility drills today that you can do any day. You can stretch deep and you can feel your joints moving and loosening up as you do that deep stretch. So we did a lot of isolation work this week. Let's get right into what we did, moving throughout your body, holding positions and then flowing a little bit, all right? So big deep breath. Just put your mind at ease. You're here, you're gonna feel so much better when you're done. All right, and I want you to keep using this workout throughout the week, all right? Three more times, that's your challenge. Okay, let's start first from the bottom of our body. We're gonna move all the way up with your feet, okay? Leaning over onto your right foot. Let's arch your left foot and push it down and up, okay? Two, one, here we go. Lift the heel, push it down. Let's work on the arches in your ankles first. Okay, lift the heel, push it forward. Great job. All the weight is on that other foot. Let's do two more. One and two. And then go ahead and switch feet. Okay, heel down, let's lift it up. Stretch the arch of your foot. Get some cardio, we did legs, glutes. Okay, all of these situations, there was some impact. And your feet take all of that impact. Okay, whether you're standing all day, walking, you're running. Gotta start from the bottom and work your way up. Make sure you're feeling good, okay? Let's go three, two, one. Good, take both feet, angle them out just a little bit, and now let's flow back and forth. So lifting the heel on one side, drop it, lift the other, drop it, lift the other. Good job, drop it, lift. As you lift, kind of lean away from it so you don't have all your weight on an unstable foot. Good job. Flip back over. One more each side. Down. And good. Let's take that right leg, step it out nice and wide. Okay, turn over towards the right leg and drop your left heel down onto the floor. Okay, use your front foot to really push yourself back, really drilling that heel down. Working into the Achilles and the calf now on this back leg. There you go, good job. Good, now take this straight back leg and let's bend it and straighten it again. Bend and straighten. So you give it a little bit of a relaxation and then straighten it back out. Good, drive the heel down. And use that front foot to push you back. Drill the heel down, push. Good. Perfect, let's go one more. Push, 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 push it down. Lean forward just a little bit, four. Three, lean two, lean one. Good, come back up. Let's switch it over to the other side. Same thing, your back leg is now your front leg. Okay, push that heel down into the floor. All right, one side might feel a little bit tighter than the other. They'll probably be a little bit unequal. Okay, just keep pushing that heel down out back and then we'll flow a little bit. Good, 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 good. Hold it for five, four, three, two. Stay right here, let's bend and straight. Bend, push that heel back down. Bend, straight. Good job. Getting the ankle pretty good here too, so the whole joint, the ankle joint, the Achilles and the ankle and all the tendons around it. I'm gonna feel so much better after this, guys. I can't wait. 
hope this is one that you come back to as well. Okay, one more, bend, push, drill that heel down and lean forward for four, three, two, one. Place your hands down on the floor. Take your feet back, turn them nice and wide, toes out. So your heels are on the mat, toes are off the edge. Okay, walk just a little bit until you feel a stretch on the outer edges of your calf or of your shin. Okay, so I want you to kind of feel it right here. There you go, keep your foot nice and flat. Good, come up onto your toes and now let's point your toes straight up towards your hands. Down dog, try to drive your heels down. Good, now take your toes out to the edge of the mat and try to hover your heels over the outside of the mat. Okay, you wanna feel this one a little bit more in your inner calf. Let's lean it side to side. So shift the weight over into your right foot. Drive your heel down. Now into your left foot, drive your heel down. One more each side, switch over and over. Great job, let's walk your hands back to your toes. Okay, keep this wide stance, feet are out towards the edge of the mat. Okay, hands are hanging right underneath your chest. Stretch out the hamstrings first, try to get them straight, legs straight. Great job, now let's shift your weight. More left foot, more right foot. Okay, you can use your hands on the floor to balance or hands on your shins, but keep pushing your hips back as you shift over and over. Beautiful. You'll feel this one a little bit in the outside edges of your glute as well. Good job. All right, place your hands down. I want you to kick your left foot out halfway up your mat, okay, and now push that left hip backwards, back and down. And I want you to try and lift your chest up so you really feel the stretch right here in your hamstring. So try to get your back nice and flat. Try and look up if you can. Both feet are flat on your mat. Good, relax and round your back out. Just hang it down here. Big deep breath in, exhale. Push your back up nice and flat again. Look up if you can, pull your chest up if you can, and really push that back glute and hip back and down. And relax again. Good, now let's flow through those two positions. Okay, so press your hands into the mat, flat back, Look up, tuck your chin, relax. Flat back, look up, tuck your chin, and relax. Two more. Flat back, look up, tuck your chin. Last one, push up, look up, look down, and relax. Place your hands on the mat, let's step up and switch feet, same exact thing. Feet are flat on the floor, all right, first one, I want you to place your hands on the ground. Go for that flat back. Okay, hips are facing the floor, so make sure you're not here. All right, you're facing the ground. Hands are down there to make sure chest and hips are facing down. And you're working on this front leg, really pushing the glutes back, back, back. Now as your muscle starts to loosen up a little bit, 
I want you to look up, try and open your chest up forward, same direction that your front toe is facing. And relax, good, let your head hang, let your back round. Keep your hands in contact with the floor so you can keep that sense of balance. And push into the floor, let's flatten your back out again. Look up, push your hip back. Big deep breath in, exhale, let it fold, relax your back, relax your neck. And last one, come back up and let's flow through these, okay? So look up, tuck your chin, relax. Flat back, look up, tuck your chin, relax. Two more, flat back, open, Relax, and down, one more. And relax, good. Walk into the middle and let's open up both feet. Okay. Now let's drop it down into a deep squat. And you can come up onto your toes if you need to. Okay. Good job, hope you're feeling better already. Shift it side to side. Plant your heel, really open the side hip by pushing your knee backwards and shift over. Good, plant this foot, lift this heel, push and switch. Plant, lift, push. Keep going, plant, lift, push. Push. One more on the other side, plant, lift this heel, push it open. And let's turn over facing that right foot, okay? I want you to put your shin on the floor, that back knee supporting you first, okay? And you're gonna slowly inch your back leg backwards, okay? If you can get your shin parallel, that's amazing. If you can't, keep it tucked right in here. Maybe you stay up here, okay? Maybe you can flatten out even more. But if your knee bothers you to have it 90 degrees, just keep it tucked right in here, okay? What I do want you to do though is focus on getting that hip to face the floor, okay? So both hips face the ground. Now slowly walk your hands out in front of that front foot, okay? I want you to lean forward, lowering yourself like you're lowering into a push-up, okay? Lower down, 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 as low as you can go, and then press right back up. Lower for three seconds. Three, two, one, pause, push three, two, one. Let's go three more. Three, two, one, Pause, push, two, one. Two more. Pause, push. One more, lower three, two, one. Come up, three, two, one. Great job. Swing your other leg right around, same thing. Okay, if you can't tuck, I'll switch, I'll face this way so you can see. If you can't straighten your leg out into 90 degrees, keep it tucked right in here. Okay, and let's get that hip facing the ground. Lower it if you can. Push this foot out if you can. Hip faces the floor. So both hips pointing down towards the floor. Take your hands right out front. Good job. Maybe one side's tighter than the other and that's okay. Keep note of these things. If you need to work on them more, you've gotta do that. Just like your strength, progress only comes from doing the work. Okay, flexibility and strength, same exact thing. They both have to develop from you consistently performing the action that makes the changes. Let's lower into the push-up. Here we go, three, two, one, pause. Push, three, two, one, five more. Here we go. 
pause, push, three, two, one, four more, down, three, two, one, good, three, two, one, three more, let's get lower each time, two, one, pause, three, two, one, last two, get as low as you can, push your hip down, down, pause, up, two, one, last one, as low as you can go, nose to the floor if you can, two, one, push, three, two, one, amazing job. Come back into the front here, okay, and let's cross ankle on top of your knee and push up, okay. Walk yourself up, chest as close to your shin as you can. Good job. This one's more of a static stretch. You can't really do too much mobility with this one. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna push, push, push your chest up towards your shin. Hope you're feeling so much better already. All right, let's go ahead and switch legs. Same exact stretch. So ankle is on your knee, walk it up, push. I'm gonna challenge you to flex your foot up. So relax foot, flexed foot. I wanna challenge you to flex your foot, toe towards your knee on the same leg. And lean, trying to get your chest as close to that shin as you can. Great job. All right, let's roll it over onto our right hip. Okay, nice and flat here on the side. I'm gonna have you pull your heel to your glute and push your hip forward at the same time. So we're moving into the quads, the front part, the big front muscles on your legs. Good, straighten it out for just a second and then pull right back in. Pull even closer to your glute. So even if you have to shrug a little bit, that's okay. It doesn't have to be stacked on top of your leg here either. You can lift it a little bit. Pull hard. Release and let's pull one more time. Heel to the glute, last pull, here we go. A little harder and good. You guys can roll on over on your stomach to the other side. I'm gonna flip over. Okay, same thing with the other leg. Go ahead and grab that knee or grab your foot. Pull your heel to your glute. If you need to shrug to pull it up high, you can do that. Push your hip forward as you pull. Good, release. Release and let's go one more really good pull and then we're gonna finish out with the upper body, okay? Good, go ahead and release and come back up to a seated position. Okay, cross your legs here. Let's take both your hands up overhead. Lace your fingertips together. Lean over to the right side first. And left, reach over. Switch. Get over there and really pull, 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 pull that top arm. Switch, pull the top arm really big. One more each side, really pull. Pull, 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 and switch. Pull one more time, pull, pull, pull. Take your arms down to chest level, pull across. There you go. 
Keep your chest facing forward as you pull this arm across. Great job, and let's switch. Chest faces forward, hips are forward. Good, switch arms one more time each side. Really pull and really force your chest to stay facing the front. And last switch, here we go, big pull, ready? Pull, pull. Relax your shoulder, try not to shrug it up into your face. Relax it and pull over. Good, all right, take both of your hands, place them flat on the ground right beside your legs. Let's drop ear to shoulder. And switch. Big stretch. Switch. Three, two, one, switch. And as the clock rolls out to zero, take some head circles, chin to your chest, and then ear to shoulder, chin to chest, Ear to shoulder, chin to chest. There you go. Keep your hands in contact with the floor. And amazing job, guys. I'm so glad you came here. I hope you feel so much better. That's one of my favorite stretches, so I had to make sure I threw it in there. But I hope you feel so much better. If you stand up, I hope you feel a little bit looser. Some of those muscles are relaxed. Hopefully you're feeling a little bit less creaky and sore than when you showed up here. Keep using this. This is something you can do anywhere. So if you're going on vacation, you get off the plane, you get out of the car after a long drive, you need to move your body, okay? You need to get it in that habit of moving again or else the whole weekend or the whole trip could be a stiff, achy one for you. Um, same thing as your normal life, right? If you're sitting a lot, if you're sleeping in a weird position, you need to move. Your body is designed to move. So if we can do maintenance on it throughout the week with things like this, it's only gonna benefit us. So keep doing these stretches. Sunday, I always give you guys a rest day each week intentionally. So you can do these things, you can foam roll, you can use mobility stretches like this, you can use one of the probably 100 stretches on my channel as well. Whatever you're feeling tight in, there's probably a stretch for that, but keep moving, keep stretching, all right? So proud of you. Use this stretch two more times this week, and I want you to comment below what days you're planning on using this stretch again two more days this week, okay? When you wake up, before you go to bed, after your workout, whatever it is, let me know in the comments below. And before you head out, also do me a quick favor, make sure you give the video a thumbs up if your body feels better, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys tomorrow ready for a great week. See you then.